Okay, so this is so this is the problem. We want to estimate the, the effect of B on T2 not mediated through T1, but there is a common cause, U, an unmeasured common cause, U, of both T1 and T2. Then if we condition on T on T1, which is a collider, now we are going to find an association between B and T2 that goes through this collider, and we will not be able to check. So that that is that is the problem with the half ratio, that we are trying to estimate the effect of an exposure B on bed at the time T2 not mediated to T1. That's common. We don't have any components here. We don't have any common causes on B at T2. Any questions? Oh my god. Natalie, look at that dag. I mean, what are they trying to prove? I mean, I like, it's just, it's so round. It's like, so big. I like big dags and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. But when a collider walks in with an itty bitty square and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Wanna pull up tough cause you notice that dag is bluffed. Deep in the dag he's sharing. I'm hooked and I can't stop staring. Oh baby, I wanna get with ya and take your picture. My homeboys tried to warn me, but that dag you got makes me so corny. So fellas, yeah, fellas, yeah, my girlfriend got the dag. Hell yeah, Hell, shake it, shake it, shake that healthy dag. Baby got dag. Shake it, shake it, shake that healthy dag.